Hey everyone, it's CL and today I wanted to talk about two things that I tend to experience as a reader and that is reading slumps and book ADD. Now if you've been part of the booktube community for a while, you more than likely have come across a person that has said that they were feeling like they were in a reading slump or a person that was gone for a while and then they suddenly come back and they say, sorry guys, sorry I was gone for so long, I was in a really bad reading slump. Now for myself, a reading slump is a period of time where I just don't feel like reading and for many people that fall into a reading slump they might not really know why they feel that way they might not know why a person who really loves books and enjoys to read suddenly feels like they don't want to really engage in that activity even though they normally love to um, and for myself, I do know the reasons why that I tend to fall into a reading slump and it's because if I get really busy, like for instance, if I put in a lot of hours at work, when I get home, I just want to relax and I don't want to do anything that requires me to concentrate. So in those busy times, I tend to not read uh, much at all because I don't want to do anything that requires me to use my brain and that's the best way that I can oversimplify what I mean by being too busy and not wanting to engage in reading. Um, and also another reason I might fall into a reading slump is because I fall into a TV series. In particular, I start binge watching a particular series. And when I fall into a series, they tend not to be like one season. Currently, I fell into a series I'm watching on HBO and it is eight seasons long. So I'm currently in the middle of binge watching that. And one of the other things that I tend to experience as a reader is something that I'm calling book ADD. And what I mean by that is that I'm fully interested in being immersed in a storyline, but I'm picking up book after book after book and none of them are holding my interest and not necessarily because they're not good. They could be bestsellers. They could be books that people on booktube totally rave about, but it's not fulfilling the want that I have. Like sometimes I get in these modes where I want a particular storyline and it's not necessarily a book that's already published but a storyline that I'm craving and I can't find. So I'm going from book to book to book and none of them are holding my interest. And what I mean by that, I can use right now as an example. Like right now I am craving a storyline about parallel universes and it doesn't end there like sometimes I get so specific with what I want I want to read a story about a parallel universe where there's this person that somehow some way enters another parallel universe and runs into themselves and I want to see that interaction and how different their lives are even though they're technically the same person and I've also been craving a really good book about aliens and I'm not talking about some teen romance I'm talking about like close encounters of the third kind fire in the sky something that will just grab me and really really immerse myself into the story so book ADD that is is a term that I just made up to get my point across but I think it fits well when you, you pick up book after book and you just can't find what you're looking for you can't find that storyline that will totally capture you and take you into another world. So yes, those are the two things that I tend to experience as a reader. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below, whether or not you experienced either of these, which one you tend to experience more often. For myself, I tend to have book ADD more often than not, and maybe those stories that I'm craving are stories that I might have to end up writing myself to fulfill that need, but yeah. That's what I have for you today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.